local star is ready to get back on the basketball court after a huge scare in a gym weeks ago. 16 WAPT's Mike Perchick tells us about his medical scare and his coach's heroic actions that kept one of the state's top basketball players alive. Blessed to be here. Like, I'm just alive. When you think of basketball, dunks, dishes, to pass the basketball, and defense all come to mind, but not death. Yet, that's exactly what Provine High Schooler E.J. Galloway faced on the court almost two weeks ago. It was one of those days you, you really can't forget, and it, it seemed like everything was going in slow motion that day. One minute I'm sitting there coaching, next I look over to the side, I, I see E.J. Uh, falling over on the coach, and it was like it just got real just then. Everything was so real. The way his body looked, it looked almost like a seizure. But um, when we stretched his body out and realized that he was kind of gasping for air, he immediately started CPR uh, to try to save his life. I was scared. Uh, I was really, really scared because I would never imagine in a thousand years, I mean, I've been CPR certified for longer than I can remember, but never imagined having to use it in a real life situation. All I can say is God had everybody in the right place at the right time to save my son's life. Swinney and Gaines, along with two other coaches, worked on Galloway for nearly 10 minutes, waiting for paramedics to arrive. He was in full cardiac arrest. No pulse, no heartbeat. The doctors told us whoever done CPR on my son saved his life. When I woke up, I was just thinking that I'm alive. I'm just happy to be here. While doctors told EJ he can't play for the next six months, his presence at practice has been a big boost to teammates. And things didn't get back to normal until he walked through that door, and it was like a boost of energy just, just ran through the team. Galloway, who's been rated as one of the top ten players his age in the state, says he doesn't remember what happened before going into cardiac arrest and is looking forward to hitting the hardwood soon. It's going to be a pride in my heart that I'll be able to get on the court. In Jackson, Mike Perchick, 16, WAPT News. Wow. Well, those coaches are set to be honored this Tuesday by Jackson Mayor Tony Yarber and the Jackson City Council. A week later, they'll get accolades from the Jackson School Board.